1. Introduction Why a comprehensive security architecture review is necessary. In today's digital age, protecting your assets is more important than ever before. With the increasing number of cyber threats and data breaches, it is crucial to have a strong security posture in place. One way to ensure this is by conducting a comprehensive security architecture review. This process involves assessing your current security measures, identifying potential vulnerabilities and threats, developing a plan for improving security, implementing changes, and monitoring progress. By taking these steps, you can better protect your assets and maintain a strong security posture. In this article, we will guide you through each step of the process to help you conduct a successful security architecture review. 2. Assessing your current security measures. Before you can begin to improve your security measures, it's important to assess your current setup. This involves taking a close look at all of the systems and processes that make up your security architecture. Start by reviewing your existing security policies and procedures. Are they up-to-date and comprehensive? Do they cover all potential threats and vulnerabilities? Are they being followed consistently across your organization? Next, evaluate your physical security measures. This includes things like access controls, surveillance cameras, and alarm systems. Are they functioning properly? Are they positioned in the most effective locations? Are there any blind spots or areas where security could be improved? You will also want to review your network security measures. This includes firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and antivirus software. Are they up to date with the latest patches and updates? Have they been configured correctly to provide maximum protection? Are there any gaps in your network security that need to be addressed? Finally, take a look at your personal security measures. This includes background checks, training programs, and employee awareness campaigns. Are your employees aware of their role in maintaining security? Are they following best practices for password management and data handling? Are there any areas where additional training or awareness efforts are needed? By thoroughly assessing your current security measures, you'll be able to identify areas where improvements are needed and develop a plan for strengthening your overall security posture. 3. Identifying potential vulnerabilities and threats. Once you have assessed your current security measures, the next step is to identify potential vulnerabilities and threats. This involves examining all aspects of your organization's operations, including physical security, network security, and employee behavior. One common vulnerability is outdated software or hardware that may no longer receive security updates. This can leave your systems open to exploitation by hackers who are constantly searching for weaknesses to exploit. Another potential threat is phishing attacks, where employees are tricked into giving away sensitive information or clicking on malicious links. Physical security is also an important consideration. Are there any areas of your facility that are not properly secured? Are there any access points that could be exploited by unauthorized individuals? These are just a few examples of the types of vulnerabilities that should be identified during a comprehensive security architecture review. It's important to note that identifying vulnerabilities and threats is not a one-time event. As technology and tactics evolve, new vulnerabilities will emerge. That's why it's crucial to regularly conduct security reviews and stay up to date on the latest threats and best practices for mitigating them. Four. Developing a plan for improving security. Once you have identified potential vulnerabilities and threats in your current security measures, it's time to develop a plan for improving security. This plan should address the specific weaknesses that were identified and include actionable steps for addressing them. It's important to prioritize the most critical vulnerabilities and threats first, as well as consider the cost and resources required for each step of the plan. You may need to involve multiple departments or teams within your organization to ensure that all aspects of security are adequately addressed. Your plan should also include timelines for implementing each step and clear metrics for measuring progress. This will help you stay on track and ensure that improvements are being made effectively. 
It's important to note that a comprehensive security architecture review is not a one-time event. Your plan for improving security should be an ongoing process that is regularly reviewed and updated as new threats emerge or changes are made to your organization's infrastructure. By continuously monitoring and improving your security posture, you can better protect your assets and reduce the risk of a security breach. 5. Implementing changes and monitoring progress. After developing a plan for improving security, it's time to implement the changes and monitor progress. This is where the rubber meets the road, and it's important to stay focused on the end goal of protecting your assets. First, prioritize the changes that need to be made based on their potential impact and feasibility. Start with the most critical changes and work your way down the list. Make sure to involve all stakeholders in the implementation process, including IT staff, security personnel, and any third-party vendors. Once the changes have been implemented, it's important to monitor progress and measure the effectiveness of the new security measures. This can be done through regular audits, vulnerability scans, and penetration testing. It's also important to stay up to date on emerging threats and adjust your security posture accordingly. Remember that security is an ongoing process, not a one-time event. Regularly review and update your security measures to ensure that they remain effective and aligned with your organization's goals and objectives. By taking a proactive approach to security, you can protect your assets and maintain a strong security posture over the long term. 6. Conclusion Maintaining a strong security posture. In conclusion, conducting a comprehensive security architecture review is crucial for protecting your assets. By assessing your current security measures, identifying potential vulnerabilities and threats, developing a plan for improving security, implementing changes, and monitoring progress, you can maintain a strong security posture. Remember that security is an ongoing process, and it's important to regularly review and update your security measures to stay ahead of emerging threats. With a proactive approach to security, you can minimize the risk of security breaches and protect your assets from harm.